It is when the pastor was praying online for the gift of the Holy Spirit, that I said Lord I want you to increase my gift of divine healing, in fact I want you to give me all the gift of the Holy Spirit so that I can do something for your kingdom, I did not expect the Lord to answer me straight away, but to my surprise I began to manifest, and I felt the fire of the Holy Spirit all over me, then I saw that something was happening in my mouth, I saw coming down a book that was coming in the direction of my mouth. I heard the voice of the Lord, he told me, Ruth, you need to eat my flesh and drink my blood, you must eat this book which is my flesh, when I ate the book I began to feel my tank vibrating like a machine, I was in wonder and I said Lord what is happening, I could not control myself, at a certain point I could not breathe and felt like stifled, I was watching when I noticed that I began to see things I never saw previously within life. In fact my spiritual vision was opened and I began to see the unseen world, the Lord said Ruth from this day onward you have my eyes, and you will see all things just like I see all things, nothing will remain hidden to you, from that moment I began to see the condition of this world, there was thick darkness covering the world, and then I saw the sky opened before me and a strong light came down blinding my eyes, I was trying to cover my eyes because of the intensity of light. That's when I saw that I was already above the earth hoovering in space, when I look at the earth there was a great darkness and there were demon, I said Lord where am I, I can see flying demon and horns demon and bat demon flying all over the world and casting evils spell and curses, the Lord said they are striking the earth with curses and those who are not in me, those who are not in sound doctrine and those who practice sin will fall victims, when observing the earth I saw many small lights in many homes. The Lord said these light are the saint that worship me in spirit and truth, they practice my word and obey my commandment, when they pray and worship they light up their lamp, tell my church to spend time in prayer and worship so that their lamp would always be lightened, in the blink of an eye I found myself in the first heaven, where I saw a soul rising from the earth, and when he reached the first heaven he was intercepted by a robust demon who stopped him from rising to the gate of heaven. I said Lord what is happening to this soul, the Lord said he never gave himself to me nor my word nor the holy doctrine, he was in sin, those who die away from me, those who fail to confess me as Lord and Saviour and fail to live a holy life, they will be stopped in the first heaven by demon when they die, I saw these demon capturing this soul in the first heaven and they took him down, the Lord was about to show me where they were taking him, in a split second we landed before a huge gate, it was enormous and massive. And before this massive gate there was an innumerable crowds of people, of all nations, all race and all language, these people were piling before the gate of hell, I saw that all these people knew that they were going to hell and they will be tormented and burn in the fire, and they were standing before the gate of hell. And they were crying to God and the Lord Jesus to save them, they said Lord Jesus come to save us, Jesus Christ come to save us. They did not call Allah or Mary or Buddha for it seemed that the deads had acquired the knowledge that only Jesus Christ was the saviour of humanity, even Muslim, Buddhist and New Age member called the name of Jesus Christ to save them, the innumerous multitude of people were crowding and jostling in front of the massive ancient gate, the scene was unreal, in a split second I was no longer before the gate but inside the enclosure of the kingdom of hell, it was a really dark place. That's when my torment began, it was really a tenebrous environment, you can't see anything because of total obscurity, absolute darkness, I began to pass my hand in the dark hoping to touch anything for I could not see anything, the shadow of the Lord was on my right, I said Lord I cannot see anything where am I, the Lord shadow seems like a little light, that guided me in the darkness of hell. The Lord voice coming from the light said fear not I will guide you, it was too dark, moreover the place had a bad odor the worst smell ever, there was extreme temperature that I could not bear, suddenly I found myself before a cell, in which was a woman that was condemned for having sex before marriage, in that cell I saw three robust demon, they were really smelly and ugly, the woman was chained on her two hand and laid on a huge table with leg wide open. I am in tear when I think about her, please brethren flee from fornication, flee sexual sin, masturbation, I saw gruesome things in this infernal world, these demon were giants and their instrument of torture were really big, these demon took an arrow, 
they introduce into the woman private part and when they pull it out all her organ came out. The woman scream with all her strength, witnessing that torture I cried and scream Lord why are you allowing this, I was feeling this woman pain, the Lord said I had done my part by dying on the cross but humanity have chosen a different path instead of me. The Lord said people have to flee sexual sins. I was screaming and I said Lord I don't want to be here, the Lord said it's not over, be strengthened because you must see things, when we went to the second cell, there was a woman punished for wearing wig and fake hair, when we are warning the church about makeup, jewelry and wig, people think it's a joke, I beg you my sister listening to me now to throw away these wig and fake hair. If the Lord show you this place called hell you will realize the extreme gravity and danger we are facing, the woman was bound in chain on a metallic chair and was helpless, brethren in hell you face the judgment alone there is no one to help you, people have no strength in face of demon who have fierce face and have no pity, they get pleasure seeing the suffering of human, when they torture people they laugh and mock their victims, I saw them, they are giant and robust, it's not a game. Beloved let your hair be natural, avoid hair attachment, wig and weave, I saw these demon coming with huge iron, that were letting out dark smoke, they passed the hot iron on the lady hair attachment, I saw the skin of her head falling, the skull and brain was burned, the woman scream with all her strength Jesus save me, seeing this torture I scream Lord why are you allowing this, are you not the God of love, the Lord said I am the one who made you. I know the number the number of your hair, go tell women not to add attachment on their hair, this is the judgment that is waiting for them if they keep wearing attachment and wig, it is day and night until the great day of judgment where I will judge the world, the Lord heart was bleeding when he was talking this way, beloved I am feeling pain, then the Lord showed me the cell where children were imprisoned, Christian parent we must learn to educate children in the Lord, otherwise we will give account and the Lord will ask us their blood, in this cell I saw the green demon, called Hulk, I saw the demon called Spider-Man, the demon Iron Man, I saw all the characters of animation, cartoons and videos games that children watch, they were huge and fearsome, they were tormenting children, I screamed and cried with all my strength Lord it is not right they are just children, you cannot allow children to be tormented, the Lord shook his head, I was able to feel how his heart was bleeding, he told me, go tell parent to educate the children in my law otherwise their punishment would be worse than that of these children, I said Lord have mercy and I repented in light of these atrocities, the Lord took me down under the ground where I saw men with chains like slave, the Lord said these are evangelical leaders, they led astray my people, these people had blaspheme against my spirit, they had my spirit but they lied to my children. Among these pastor I recognize a servant that I used to watch in TV, when I look at him again it was T.B. Joshua, the Lord said yes it is him it's T.B. Joshua, he had a huge chain on his neck, demons were dismembering all these servant of God, later the Lord showed me my great parent, and I cried, they were in a place where they were standing on all kind of serpent of hell, that were biting them, the Lord said they never sought to know me when they were alive that's why they fell here, when they saw me they called me asking me for water, the Lord said there is nothing you can do for them, then I saw the judgment of witches, a giant ugly demon was cutting their body into pieces and eating them, he was continually cutting them with his instrument and was eating them, the Lord said this is their judgment, they spend all their life devouring human and atom human flesh, demon were cutting the body of witches and eating, I could not bear this atrocities, the Lord removed me from that place when I said I can't take it, I don't wanna see, I was taken to another place, he said follow me. From this day onward you will do my will and follow me, the Lord began to tell me about the Prophet Muhammad of the Muslim religion for I come from a Muslim family, my daughter, the character and idol that your parent are worshipping is here in the abode of the dead being tormented by demon. It's not my angel that appear to Muhammad, these are fallen angels, the Quran is abominations, that book contain magic and witchcraft, in your parent religion when they want money they do Islamic prayer to invoke money to appear, a serpent manifest in order to vomit money, I am the one who made gold and silver, my children don't need to invoke a snake when they need money, 
This is the confusion, I said Lord you are right, Muslim invoke money through the Quran and snake appear to vomit money, the Lord said I will show you the demon that your parent worship, then we went to a place where I saw a huge serpent that had two teeth, the Lord said this is the demon your Muslim parent worship, go tell your parent to come out of idolatry otherwise they will join your great parent in torment, tell them to come out of Islamism because I am not there. If they die there, they will suffer with your great parent that are here in the abode of the dead, go sound the trumpet, I was taken to the cell of drunkard, where people were given drink that was acid, they were melting like plastic in fire, and then their body was reconstituting, it was a perpetual cycle of destruction, the Lord said this will continue until I drop them in the lake of fire in the great day of judgment, then I saw people singing on top of a rock of fire that was burning them. Other were dancing in the fire it was horrifying, even their microphone was fire, the Lord said those who are in world music to glorify Lucifer will be here until the great day of judgment and will be cast in the lake of fire, they have refused to worship me their creator, they will sing on the rock of fire with microphone of fire, I could feel the heart of the Lord torn and bleeding, I could feel it was not his will for all these people to be here, I was taken to the cell of those who bleach. I saw demon with their nails removing the skin of people who apply these bleaching product, I cried and said Lord why do you allow all this, the Lord was shaking his head and said this is the judgment of those who bleach, they want to modify what I made, this is their judgment, demon nails penetrated their body in order to remove their skin and these demon were laughing, I repented because I used to bleach my skin, these souls screams please Lord have mercy. Then the Lord showed me a cell with a woman inside, demon were introducing a fork on her tongue and pulling it out, it was a cycle of torment, the Lord said this is the judgment of all the sin that is related to the tongue, like lies, slender, insult, I saw a woman that was immobilized on a chair with chains, demon were destroying her ears because of fearing she was wearing, I said Lord I am tired I don't want to see these, the Lord said I am not in jewelry, I saw how women who use contraceptive they were punished by demon with their torture instrument, these demon cut their uterus and were laughing because of contraceptive and pill that is regarded as abortion, the Lord said those who are bought through contraceptive will come here, and I will throw them in the lake of fire, whenever the Lord spoke that way his heart bled, hell is horrible, it's an infernal torment that does not stop, there is no rest. The Lord showed me how many times he saved me from death since childhood, for a mandate of death was acting against my life, he showed me that he was always there with me.